Okay, gentlemen, welcome to Thursday. It's February 11th. Today is a B schedule. This will be also for the Friday. Remember your memorization projects are due tomorrow the 12th. So let's just jump right in. Today we are doing a new lesson. Um, we're going to be working with sequencing. So when you have your books at home, um, you're going to go ahead and follow along with this lesson right here. So sequencing, very simply, Let's say we have 2.0 and it goes to 3.1 and then it goes to 4.2. We've kind of done this before where we called it complete the pattern. So all I'm gonna to have to do is just try to find out what is the um, sequence. So you can do some subtraction that'll find out exactly what it's going up by. So on this one, it'll say 1.1, 1.1 is added to the previous term, okay? And that's really all it is. Um, it's super straightforward. You're just gonna find the difference, find the, the difference between the numbers as they go up, and then you're gonna solve that. And so you're gonna do page 361, one through six, okay? So that's that. Boom, so do that. The next one, um, you're gonna do, let's see, let me find the right page here. Three, sorry, I wrote down, I didn't write down the right page number. You're also gonna do 363, sorry about that, 363, one through, or 14 through 22. There you go. All right, so you got some sequencing problems to do. All right. Next, beyond that, we are gonna do another uh, quick review. And we've learned about the associative property, the additive property, the multiplicative identity, um, and the multiplicative property of zero. And now we're gonna learn about the distributive property, okay? So this is a really interesting one and very useful. So let's say we have eight, times the quantity negative four, I'm sorry, negative nine plus four. Okay, so now PEMDAS does tell me I have to do what's in parentheses first, which is true, and I can go ahead and do that, and I get negative nine plus four, which would be negative five. Okay, negative five times eight, I know that this is gonna equal negative 40, okay? So I know my answer already, but what the distributive property says is if these terms are not like, meaning if this negative nine and this four have different variables attached to them, I can distribute out the eight. And the way it's gonna look is it's gonna be eight times negative nine plus eight times four. So this is the distributive property. We're distributing that eight out to both of those terms, the negative nine and the four. And what ends up happening is you're gonna see here, I'll use a different color to try to show the difference. What's gonna happen is that negative, of that eight times negative nine is gonna equal negative 72 plus eight times four is positive 32. And when I add these together, negative 72 is greater, so it's gonna win out, it's gonna be negative 40. Now notice we already knew that from our original answer, but the distributive property, I'll show you an example of why we need that. So this is the distributive property and I'll show you an example right here and this will be the last one. And I'll tell you which pages, pages you're doing. Distributive property works because we are gonna have terms now that are not like. And what I mean by that is we're gonna have to go ahead and distribute a term, a number, out with the two variables. So we've been working with variables a lot recently, moving into more algebra. So check this one out. So I have five times the quantity, negative three X plus seven Y. And the reason is I can't, I can't solve this like I did with the negative 40 on the first one because these are two different variables. So here's my X and here's my Y, and I can't do it. So what I have to do is distribute out the five I draw in my lines 
and I'm multiplying here because this parenthesis implies multiplication. I get negative 15 X plus 35 Y. And I can't do anything more than that because I don't know what X is and I don't know what Y is. Now just this week we've been worrying, worry, working with uh, known variables. So they might say when X equals two and Y equals one. Uh, and then we could solve this, but for this, this is all we can do because we can't reduce this and we can't combine these two, uh, but we do need to use the distributive property to work with these variables. Okay, that's all I got for you. Uh, let me know if there are any questions on this one. Uh, your homework then is 379, one through 12. Okay, working on the distributive property. And let me just put that up there. And I'll also post this in the classroom. All right, guys. Have a great day. See ya.